Hello, all people. Welcome to the Fang Podcast. I am Mukri, the one and only. And here is the beautiful. She's starting today. You know, she came was natural last week. Now, sis is here with the long inches. Yeah, the wigs were missed. They, they were missed. I can see that because they, they are laid. <laughs> Thank you, girl. You're welcome. But yes, I'm, I'm Rebecca, the other co host of the, ooh, the other co host, the other <laughs> co host of the Fang Podcast. And welcome back to another episode. Um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok, The Fang Podcast. Um, I don't know what else to say, but thank and you. And you could tune in on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcast. Yes, come and see our beautiful faces on YouTube. <laughs> so, today, right, we were supposed to, we were talking about art, and I, I just love art. Like, I think I'm the most artistic person in the family. No shade. Um, I'm not saying I'm very artistic. <laughs> don't do that. You, 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 you're well, artistic in different ways. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. you touching it, you touching, you just got into like painting and shit. Yes, exactly. Who would have thunk it? That's the word. <laughs> that is the word. It is a word because I remember we had an argument about this word, <laughs> and I did not believe you. But yeah, I, I just love the arts. There's just something about being able to creatively express yourself with there's no rules but i'm not gonna lie in college when they teaching you about photography they really tell you like you can't do this you can't do that you're supposed to do this i'm like damn i didn't know there was a wrong way to do this i thought like you could just do it any yeah, way you like want. rules like this is what you should follow if you want the best outcome there right. really is no no rules you take your picture however you want to take your picture right but, it's know, the fundamentals exactly the art you see you know what you're trying to capture in that image you know what you're trying to capture in that painting so Exactly. Do you like it's and all about you? And honestly, I don't even know how I started. I got into art. I don't remember when I did. I just know I've always was doing something in that subject with topic. Poetry. That's what I was about to say. I think like poetry. more like poetry, and then I got into creative writing. Oh, I love a good story. I can <laughs> talk. Um, and then from there, I think like you know, just taking art classes, started drawing. Um, I can't draw for shit, but I actually have gotten better. Cause I did take a college drawing class, so I learned some things. You know, I'm a little, I'm Picasso over here. I never took an art class in college. <sighs> I wanted to so bad, you but should've. it just couldn't fit in my schedule. And I was like, yeah. I need to get my credit. So art is not really a priority, but my professor I wish was I took me, an art class. My professor was telling me, you don't draw with your wrist. You draw with your arm. I was like, oh, I didn't know. Arm? Yes, there's a science to this shit. You draw with your wrist, you, you're bound to fuck up. You draw with your arm, you can get like a straight line. That makes line. sense because I think I draw my wrist. I draw stick figures. And <laughs> <laughs> don't even look right. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yeah, so draw with your whole arm. Like you, if you ever watch somebody draw it, like a professional, you'll see them use their whole arm to draw everything. That's true. They be going crazy with them. Right, but their lines be straight. They don't need no rulers. Mm -hmm. Um... But I did enjoy drawing and then got into painting. I can't, I think I can't paint for shit. I am practicing that though. I love painting. I can't practice. Like, I don't know how they do it. Like, the thing is with painting, you have to know the layers to it so you know how to build it. You can't just draw and ooh, boom, mm -hmm. flat. No, there's dimensions and there's foreground, background. Yeah, it's I don't a know lot all of that. All I do is I trace. <laughs> <laughs> but I have the patience to make sure them lines are crisp. Uh, okay. Yeah, using your wrist and shit. My wrist, yeah. You gonna start using your arm? Watch. I'm gonna start, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I really from there got into music as well, like playing the piano. Mm -hmm. I know how to. I like. I don't remember because I didn't practice enough, but I like the piano. I couldn't do guitar because my hands, my fingers were just too oh short. They could not reach those what they call it frets. When I was in middle school, I too had to. We had to play the piano for for mass because we were like singing for the choir i used to have long nails my natural nails were so long my teacher made me cut them because i couldn't play the piano yeah you can't play piano with long nails. i know but like, i don't you know. need the stubbies no i miss ever since then I, I don't grow my natural nails long like that anymore yeah don't um but yes i loved music and that's even now that i brought it up i'm glad that's what we're actually talking about today we're gonna be talking about music mm -hmm. and we have seen how afro beats afro beats afro kiniko kiniko whatever you want to call it it is taking over the world so what we're even happier to talk about today and who we're even happier to bring onto the scene to show her face and give us a little taste my sis sudan and you know who she is <laughs> 
Hey everybody, my name is Sudan, it's spelled S-U-D-X-N, I'm Nigerian American, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, so you hear a lot of that, <laughs> you hear a lot of that in my music, and you also definitely hear my Niger side, because that's my household, period. Ooh. Niger to the call, man, to the call. <laughs> okay. If you didn't know, you can follow Sis. You got to give everybody your Instagram. Yeah. Your, you got to tell them your Spotify, everything. All of that. Yes, my Spotify, Apple Music. You can find me on platforms at S-U-D-X-N. My Instagram is S-U-D-X-N official. And my Twitter is the same. So mm. Sudan official. Fabulous. <laughs> uh, a Twitter user. <laughs> Can't be me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Go ahead. Let me go. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we want to ask you not a few questions, but just... Tell us about how you started off in music. Like, what <coughs> would you say is your earliest memory that made you be like, okay, music is what I want to do. Like, this is what I'm doing for life. It could go, it dates back to as long as, before I can even remember, my mom used to tell me of the things I used to do as a child. Like, just singing by the stairs when everybody was watching their Nollywood films, <laughs> disturbing <laughs> everybody. But I know for me, it got really excited when I started hearing about Ice Prince, Jesse Jags, Ooh. all of them people. Am I? Like, Nikki was here too, like, doing it for the females. I'm like, you know what? I really want to make music, like, for real. And you've been doing it. Yes. For so long. I like, used I to remember. send her voice notes. <laughs> <laughs> yo, she really did. Oh, my God. And it, yo, sometimes when you say certain things, I'd be like, yeah, we've been in here for a long time. Yeah, we have. Like, how long? You guys have known each other since how long? I can't even. I know the band was raining when me and you first met. We was There was some house party happening, and I was dancing like crazy. I don't even know how we interacted. I feel like that's when we first met each other, and I was like, that's my, my sis. You can say you curse. You, girl, oh, you yeah, can curse. I ain't no PG here. <laughs> yeah. so I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, I should have said the baddest bitch. But I was like, oh, I forgot. The nah, baddest bitch in the game. Mad cool. Mercury Sponge. Oh, you know? Sponge, my Cinnabon. Cinnabon, that was me. <laughs> no matter how much time. We used to be in the in Coney Island in the oh, 99 cent store putting our names together on the wooden name, the wooden letters, mm -hmm. putting it together to make our oh, name shit. and taking pictures. Aww. Why was we going to the beach? It was winter outside. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. There's nothing better. You want to get out the house, that's why. <laughs> no, we were just, better to do. Me and Sudan together is adventurous. Adventure time. Too adventurous. <laughs> a little bit is a little bit too dangerous. I, I'm surprised we haven't gone anywhere. Well, you now. need a little danger in your life, so you no, have it's, the danger. It's cool. We got responsibilities, but don't worry. We we do. We're gonna as long it. as we're alive at the end. We're exactly. Good. And there's no love loss ever. Never. No matter how far some of us go. Okay. <laughs> I admire your progression in really? the music industry. Yes. Thank you. From uh, the music video in the in the park, we're in the dashikis. Thank you. To um, your one of your latest <laughs> videos. I loved it. I oh, Body on Me. Yeah, that one was so nice. Thank you. It feels so good to hear you say that, like to hear somebody else say that, because sometimes as an artist, you could be a little bit hard on yourself, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? And it, it might look like I'm not, you know, I haven't been too consistent, but it's cool because I'm doing the behind the scenes work, and right. I just want to keep giving fire music, fire content, quality top-notch everything and that's what you're doing girl she that's really what is. you're doing i'll be on instagram I'm like, oh, damn <laughs> oh look sexy. at this girl this is a bad, she's a bad bitch she oh, is very a bunch that. of bad bitches at this table though. she knows that though thank you thank yeah, you thank yes you. you're right i don't know if anybody like you know i've been hit there from the beginning so there used to be a rapper and then my sis started i don't know where started giving us vocals and notes mm -hmm. and i just says you have to tell us what was the switch why did you switch um, so I went to the UK, I think I was in 10th grade, I want to say probably before that, I don't really recall. But um, I went to London and my uncle there was like, you know what, Sudan, give Afro beats a try. And I like love David O. Wizkid, all of them. And that's what, you know, was really popping at that time. They still popping, but at that time, David O. with the scale of right. mm -hmm. with they the were wearing Gucci and Gabbana, all of that, all of that. So <laughs> My uncle's like, you know, so then give this a shot. And turns out I got a little something. <laughs> something was there, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what, let me do this. Let me do this. And um, yeah, I loved it. I still love it. And I want to figure out how to balance the two. It's cool that you said that because when you're saying the whole balance between the rapping and the singing and then the Afro beats, it's like, okay, you're really embodying what it means to be American, Nigerian, Nigerian, American. Yes. But, and you're doing it. 
I'm doing it. You Thank really you. are. I feel like I am too. You are. I liked your Afrobeat song. There was one song that you did. I don't remember the name of the song. Sing it. I'll tell Baby, you. Baby, you, I mean, go crazy. That I one. That one. I feel like. That, that one. I feel like that's like, I, I really love that song. Even though, even though like performing is kind of like, I feel like. Like I've outgrown it, but I just look back to the song in the video. I'm like, oh my God, like Sudan, this is you. Yeah. I was doing I was seventeen doing that. Like Bro. What? I don't know if you ever seen the video, but I liked that song so much when I was doing <laughs> in college when I was part of the well, I was doing this beauty pageant that yeah. was called Mr. and Mrs. Encobia. Yeah. Um, that was, and it was ran by the Paso organization on campus. Yeah. That was a song I did a whole runway show to. I feel like I remember. You on did, Facebook. Yep. I went Facebook. I had um, my best friend go live and record it. Because mm -hmm. that was my song. I was like, now nah, y'all going to hear this shit. <laughs> I mean, I was that's like, my Ooh. sis on the record right there. Yep. And honestly, I was like, I really hope people really went and downloaded her song because this is such a nice song. <laughs> like, it was with butterflies. I changed the outfit like three, four times. But that song, I was like, yeah, this is this is it. Which yeah. song was it that you were in the video? Um, Moving Body. Ooh. Moving Body, yeah. I'll never forget. Didn't we do like a dress swap? Yes, bro. Because you were wearing <laughs> the blue dashiki I was, and I had the silky one. I'm like, no, you can't you wear see this what I'm one. Saying? Like, you have to wear the fancy one because you're the star. So always, I took off mine. Right? It's always the real ones. You don't have you don't encounter a lot of real people. Like a lot of people wouldn't have done that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she I was look like, what that it? day, I remember it was you and my auntie. You guys were making sure I was like Oh, me and Auntie, you got right? I, yeah, you guys were making sure I was good, you know? Yeah. And I've ex also experienced doing videos where people didn't really care they just got their coin and they right. didn't care so to have that i just appreciate that you know especially now you know what and you've <clears throat> gone so far with it because even now when i think about it um i believe his name is poppy ojo yeah he was dancing in that video yes poppy, and when, he was? when i tell him he'd be yes. like no that wasn't me or that wasn't me <laughs> yes he's mad cool i'm so proud of him like right. he's really sorry and you guys have gone so far from 17 18 and now like he's doing his own thing as an artist exactly. you're doing your own thing as an artist exactly. but who would ever know we was on a playground making a music exactly. video yeah we only going up we only no. going up y'all should really redo that that song over and do, redo <laughs> the whole video part two yeah y'all should i'm um, gonna like have him feature on it that was a time that was a time like afro beats has progressed so much like even though we appreciate music like that the sound is just evolving so extremely like, mm -hmm. that's like that was great for the time the time i did it yeah so i think we <laughs> could bring it back though we could bring it back for sure and but remix tiktok it, it's never it. late it's never late mm, it's really not and, and so sometimes on tiktok go and viral. Some, right and sometimes what you do in the past just needs to be done all over again because the same people are going new people are about to see it like you don't know who's about to see it you you're touching a whole different audience now absolutely right they might like that shit exactly exactly and that's why um that's my goal like when i do shows in different what can i say like in front of different crowds instead of as opposed to just the new york crowd or people who are mm -hmm. kind of familiar with me already then that's t the type of music that I've done that I want to definitely perform and push. Oh, you definitely are going to do it. Um, it you're de you're going to do it. I don't doubt it at all. Thank um, you. I think you're going to do great. I think you're a superstar. Thank you. I think we all are. Stars. Yes. Period. We all superstars. Doing it. Yes, we are. Next and thing you know, we're going to have a bigger show and everything, and we're going to have the same encounterment. It's going to be on a whole different exactly. level. And a whole different conversation because we're in different places. Like Period. Better places. Higher places. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> um, so let's give some love to Afrobeats. Um, everybody has their favorite artist. Dami, what's yours? My favorite artist <coughs> at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, I would say Thames. Ooh. I'm really fucking with Thames. I feel like she just gives a different vibe towards Afrobeats. Because normally when you hear Afrobeats, it's like the, the music you can move to, that you could dance to and all of that. But her music, it's more of like a like an R and B kind of it's peaceful. Kinda, it's peaceful. Yeah. It's peaceful. And sometimes but I, I just wanna in a club. Yeah, yeah, I just want to... He said you cannot, period. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with the margarita in your hand. Ooh, you not the margarita. Yeah. <laughs> Thames remind me of this one artist. Her name is Asa or Asha. 
A S A. She's the one who sang. Um, yes. I, yo, yes. I don't know that song. You don't know that song? Wait. What's the mother one? What's the mother one? Another song? There's a one with the mom. Um, beautiful is your name. Wonderful is what you are to me. I don't. Oh. I feel like I remember, but I don't. Um, what part do they? I don't remember. The What's the part? What's the I part? Like I know this song. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> What's this part? Oh my god! Nobody knows. No, I know just it. Just like me, nobody knows. No, I know it. <laughs> I know. I just can't. I feel like I know, but I don't want to tap on. Yo, I don't see because Oriyami Eleko is the one that's playing in my head. That's the first I pray no, for you. No. I'm like, I know well, that I song. I'm about to sing. <laughs> Wait, didn't did Simi say that in a song? Every day I pray for you. That's why you're hot today. Do you like it? Oh, my God, yeah, yes. Dude, she this said that, Yeah, right? everybody. So that was a... <laughs> yo, everybody just be talking about their moms. No, it's a whole different artist. Oh. Yo, what is this? As ah, Asha. What did she say? You could tell me later. Mm, no, no, no. I'm going to remember. Oh, my gosh. No, you're not. She like... Mercury, you don't know. It's okay. <laughs> She's going to be like, aha, my mommy, you a rogery. And that is why I'm loving you. To your mama, oh, feel like you My mommy, you a rogery. And that is why I'm loving you. La, 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 la. Oh, my God. I don't think I know it. I don't think I know it then. I'm an old school head. Yeah. You fucks with Thames. I like Thames, though. I At first, when she started, I was like, hmm, who is this girl? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I was like, mm, they seem to be overhyping her. Really? That was my first thought. Yeah. But then I really, like, took my time, and I, you know, you I calmed down my attitude. I was like, yeah, nah, I fucked with her. She's, t- she's dope. What really made me lock in with her was that song. Why you want to chime in and shine in and I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Like, she got it. She I did. Saw th- I heard, I've heard other, like, I know she has something else, Luku Luku, but I didn't really tap in. I tapped in for real when I heard Try Me, right? That's I like Free Mind. Free Mind is yeah, definitely a Free Mind. I like Damages, too. Ooh, I don't think I've heard Back then when I was a baby, young girl, I baby girl. Mm. You were my world. Mm. Oh, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Running Who's right there. Artist? Oh, my favorite art. Damn, I have so many. I love a lot of people right now. It's just Afrobeats is just like it's been, raining right now. It's, it's so fire. Over. Like, I, can I give you two that I'm bumping right now? Yeah, yeah. Give us two. Give us two. Give us two. Fireboy. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, I'm so like <laughs> mm. he's so dope. Like it don't even make no sense that how dope he is. And then I saw the performance, the BT performance. I was like, wow. Like I loved everything. Okay, yeah. so Fireboy and, and Era Star. She's who? Era Star. Bye, Killer. Oh, yo, I know the song the whole time. Never knew who it was by. Yeah, no, it'd be like that. She's a young and she's beautiful and she has the energy. Like I watch her and I'm like, I feel like that's my friend. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, like, I'm like, nah. She's just like. That's a good feeling to have because when you yeah. feel like you could connect or like with you the can relate with the artist, and it's I'm like, like you really I want that them. for myself too. Like I want people to look at me and be like, "That's my sis." You know what I'm saying? I'm your sis. You got that energy. You put that energy mm-hmm. out you there. Think pe- mm-hmm. I feel like it might not always seem that way through social media, but when people meet me, maybe they know. Exactly. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm just she's doing it. She's young and she's doing right. It. Like, that's don't worry. Fire. We're all up next. Yeah, I may not be an artist. Our time is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Our time patience, is coming. Patience, patience is key. Consistency is key. I'm right. learning to apply that to myself too. Same but here. Girl. When you can clap for other people, even though things aren't happening for you, like genuinely, and you really wish them well, that's a good thing. That's I feel like that's when God is like, you know what? There you go. But when you sour. Because somebody else is winning. That's horrible. Right. That's bad. Your that's time, everybody gets their, their moment. You know and I think I mean? mindset, too. Mm-hmm. You have to definitely add mindset to it. Because people have, like, they all have these great abilities and skills, but they don't have the right mindset to think mm-hmm. that they can achieve. Or if they do, they have a lot of self-doubt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Self-doubt, yeah. intimidation. No, no, no. Yeah, throw that shit out. You have to fight it. Like, I, I'm not even going to sit here and act like Miss Perfect. I, too, have those thoughts. Like, am I good enough? Am I this? And you just gang your head and it eats you up. But you really have to fight through all of that, you know? Mm-hmm. You really do. And I am. And I'm Period. realizing that I'm that. Period. I'm that. It's a lock in a whole new level of confidence. I am. It's really just 
coming and i'm and not it mad time. it takes time time growth experience mm-hmm. for you exactly. to get to that point like okay experience heavy on the experience Ooh, experience will teach you something <laughs> but you, you know what it is for me guys the artists that i feel like a lot of people don't know in the nigerian community and i feel like even though he's gone may his may god bless his soul soul but like that green is it oh. for me that green like they would to me like there would be no Alami Day without Da Green. No, no, no. I'm like Da Green really changed the whole game. He really was like rapping mm-hmm. in Ebo, mm-hmm. Yoruba, and Hausa. What? Yes. Hey, I used hey. to be shouting. My mom like, what you know? Stop. Why? Why? The magic what you know what you're saying? saying? <laughs> Stop it. Oh my God. Nah, I really w- hope that because it's crazy because um. A lot of people don't know that green. Really? Yeah, a lot of I didn't pe- know. I you know the know? song, but I didn't know the artist. Wow. I didn't know who he was. There's wow. other Nigerians that I've talked to, and they would be like, who's that green? I'm like, oh how you God. don't know who that green is? And you like rap. Like, what? I'm that green gonna, was rapping. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like if it wasn't for my uncle, who really, really, really played a huge part in me, like, pursuing this music thing, I wouldn't know who that green was oh. either. My uncle, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not even gonna lie to you. No, I'm telling you the truth. Like people put you onto music. I didn't know about Debanj before I came and met you that day. I don't know if we were like eight years old. That's when I first heard who Debanj was. That's when I stopped. I'm like, oh shit. Like Coca Let's Coca One. I I I took that from y'all. Like I that I left with that. My uncle put me onto so much music. My mom put me onto so much music. Do you bump fella like today? No, I do. Fella is crazy. Lyrics crazy. It makes sense. The instruments are insane. You so guys tell like, people about Fela Kuti. You guys oh tell them, like, dear. I'm not even gonna get into it. It's just too much history. <laughs> it's it a is lot a lot of history. history. A lot. But like, even with because I was like reading up on like Afrobeats in general. So mm-hmm. basically, Af- there's two different genres. There's Afrobeats with an S, and then there's Afrobeats. Oh no S. Right. Um and Fela Kuti, is that his name? How do you say it? Yeah, Fela Kuti. Fela Kuti, he's more known for Afro beat without the S. It was more like drums in the music, more yeah. of like a orchestrate heel. We're with talking a, drums and shit. Sure. Yeah, Percussion. stuff like that in the music. And now the Afro beats we know it's more like pop music but with African artists. Club. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Now, if, if I had to tell anybody to listen to that green, I would say listen to Thank God, Pom Pom Pom, P O N P O N P O N, um, Kondo for Bye. sure. Like Kondo is just Kondo is just nasty, but it's subtle. It's a subtle nasty. That's what I like. That's what I like. Talk you don't even know it's nasty over here singing a song. Kondo, like, look at her smiling. It's nasty. Know. It is nasty. He said. <laughs> It, like translated, he said, "My mom's not home. My dad's not home. My older sibling is not home. I'm the only one that's home. So, so come, come get, get this it. magic stick. Come that's the shit. What he said. Ooh. I'm coming. Ooh. <laughs> I'm running for dear life. No. <laughs> now, but his life ended too short as an artist. Like he died, I think, like in in his twenties. It was a trailer accident, right? Yeah, like he hit a tr- oh, he like he I got into like, an accident with a car, a truck or something. I don't know. I feel like when people go like that so young, I feel like that's how God wants you to remember them. But he made his impact. He definitely did sometimes, make his impact. Sometimes we're we're here to do stuff, and it takes people a little bit longer than mm-hmm. others to achieve what their mission is. And some people achieve it really early in life. And God said, you know what? Come back home. That's how I see it. So I don't. Mm-hmm. But it's damn, that's kind of hor- horrendous. That's what, I don't want to go home like that. No, it's sad. It's horrible. Yeah. But like, who are we to like? I don't know. Who are we to question God's timing? God's timing. No, it's a fact. Because at the end of the day, he. I still remember that green now. Me too. Me too. And I would. I would be lying if I said that didn't influence the type of artist I'm trying to be today. You know. Right. Because even in his music, it was he didn't do the kind of beats that you would expect people to yeah. do, especially Nigerian artists. He did like funky shit. Exactly. It, I like weird stuff. He, he did. definitely did weird shit. Like his beats was crazy, mm-hmm. but it's not something you heard regularly. So. Damn. With all that, where did Afro beats? You said it really stemmed from. Fela Kuti, Afro beat. Afro beat. No S, beat. Afro beats. And then we have the 
Afro beats, like you said, right? What makes the difference, bro? Because the music we the music we listen to now is Afro beats with an S. Like the style, the way the music, all the instruments, everything is different from how it was back then, like nineteen sixties, nineteen seventies. I could be wrong on the years, but no, I feel like I get what you're saying. Before it was really heavy on the instrumental aspect, like the, right. the you definitely because I used you would be yeah. in there doing the do 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 the do, instruments do, 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 do. was moving you, you you would have been singing the instruments right. exactly, it but now we don't. Oh my god, now it's, it's really the beat. Well, yeah, it's with the beats, how they sing the songs, all of that. Yeah, the lyrics definitely way different. I feel like it was more so. so like real storytelling back then too it definitely was like people were just talking about because like my jaw song um hey. like that was a whole he had a whole scene <laughs> driving car crash <laughs> he it really was stories There's this song i just remember i really love I know what song you're talking about. Hey, somebody enter for mommy's house. Hey, and they sit down for mommy's bed. The person pushing mommy, mommy push person, person push mommy. I remember that song. I think it's from Zule Zoo. Zule Zoo. We gotta look it up because oh that God. was a throwback. But that's a story. He's talking about when the dad goes for work, the mom has somebody else come over, and that's she's pregnant for that man's like child. So those yeah. the two kids that's already home, they saying that they pushing each other on the bed, and she they felt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh my gosh! You remember downfall driver? Did, oh my God! <laughs> downfall driver, so should be you be downfall driver, so ah, that ah. those are throwbacks. O D. <laughs> oh my God! And then you had P Square. P Square used to have a different. What was that? I, feel, I got a story. I feel story. like they set the tone too. They definitely. Did. They, they did. But so what's going on today? I feel like I gotta get that. P Square did it first. We, even when chop my messy. money was a crazy time. Chop my money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, First of all, y'all woo say. Y'all woo. Uh oh. Y'all woo say. So like that, I feel like they they really influenced a lot they of the definitely artists. Did. Like from even even all, everybody like happening right now. Yeah, even right. now, thinking back on like some of the it's old songs, fan, you they, kinda hear the similarity. You hear it. They right. they they mm-hmm. started that. Oh, <laughs> Oh yeah, that's no. Cool. There was um, there that's was a song good. um that Green he, he'd be like, "On my Nigerian me, Nigerian be missy, Nigerian moti benesi KBC. On my Nigerian moi fin she pepsi." Ah, that was. I can't. No. How do they do? How do the people do that? Very simple. I could do it with a bear can too. I can't. I try, but I feel like I'm too like you know the bougie. I'm a Yankee, Yankee girl. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Nah. I can't. No, I would. I'd be I, like, my grandma, my grandma helps me. me. I'd be like, I'd be like, grandma, can you help me? And she just, oh no, I'm like okay, thank I'd be in you. tune with the culture. I'd be like, pastor, I could do it. What I've been, I was scared? practicing too. I was like, I have the teeth for it. I'd be scared. Like, what if I crack my teeth? You can. And it's quite like, what am I? Go- I have nobody. Like, yeah, to, yeah, you, can. you definitely, you definitely can. can. I have nobody to blame but myself. <laughs> like, no, for ask, real. Who asked you to do that? Why didn't you like, go get a can you, opener? What's exactly, wrong with you? It's in the cu- it's in the kitchen. Why did you do that to yourself? <laughs> the Nigerian me told me to go open it with my teeth in. Now I tried. I wanted to mimic the elders, but I said, you know what? This is not your lane. Stay in your lane. <laughs> do what is for you. Stay in know your what lane. Is for them. That is too funny. Nah. Afrobeats have gone so far, but what I want to understand is, is there not other genres other than Afrobeats? Because I feel like to categorize artists like Thames, Da Green, Fireboy, all into just the genre of Afrobeats, no. it doesn't sit right. You know what I mean? Because you here we got R&B, we got hip hop, we got rap, then you got drill, then you got um, the blues. Afrobeats, it's... The it tunes are so different, but I don't know what other genres they would be called or they're in. There is a subgenre, subgenre like for Afrobeats. Like I know Thames is more in the Alte. That's what they call it, Alte, like alternative, alternative mm. yeah. type of vibe. You would put Era Star. Sorry, <laughs> you would put Era Star in that box as well. But I feel like these artists, they could do so many things more than what they're showing That's us. True. So like, who even know? Somebody might. I'm gonna be the one to be doing rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> afro afro rock afro rock afro rock, rock. oh i'm here for it afro rock. is it gonna have like the whole rock look too because i, I could know do i that. should like spunks in my hair let me wait let me not get too much in my ideas <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody don't give it don't give away the yeah. tea like don't that. steal my juice it's okay <laughs> if they joking, did you're still gonna do it better i'm joking <laughs> okay yeah. so it was nice talking about music we really 
honestly, you got me going back to wanting to listen to some tunes. Mm -hmm. But let's skip on to the segment, Watch Out. That means come and eat. Come on, eat some talk. But what we're talking about today, mm, I don't know if you want to eat that because... Like, what are we mm, talking about? Hey, Abo Jadi. Oh. Abita. Oh, that thing. <laughs> Yes. Oh, you be in the toilet like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. Yeah, but yeah, My booty hole be on fire. <laughs> oh, dear. Nah. <laughs> Yo, I mean, you got to tell people about it, bro. So, Alafia Bita and Abo Jedi, they're the same thing, but I think the brand is Alafia Bita, but a lot of people still call it Alafia Bita, even if they're not drinking Alafia Bita. But basically, it's like a an herbal supplement concoction. concoction that's meant to detoxify and basically clean your body it's yeah. herbs um i did some research Natural. and <laughs> they use it for like menstrual pains for like a colon detox um literally any kind of cleansing to remove any toxins from your body you get a lafia bita now when we were younger peace <laughs> You eat too much candy. You eat too much McDonald's. Hello, my you are drinking it. You, know you better be careful when you say that. <laughs> After all the candy, hey, my stomach, my stomach. Yo, what? Come and drink. I like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come. Oh, my God. Yo, every time I love your pizza, I go, Jedi, I just have a bad experience. Right. I used to cry. Like, I used to cry boohoo tears <laughs> when they would come and tell me to drink it. <laughs> I would, And after that, they would put the cup in my hand, right? And they were like, Mookie, drink it. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't want to drink it. Mukri, drink it. No, I don't want to drink it. I don't want to drink it right now. Mukri, they go and get the belt. If you don't drink it, I'm not going to lie. I took a couple beatings because I wouldn't drink it. I don't care. You couldn't get me really? to drink it. That shit was nasty. Nasty. It's it was bitter. nasty. The definition of bitter. If you've never had anything bitter, what? alafia bita, bitter. It looked like straight tree bark. <laughs> it, yeah, it, was, it looked like tree branches. And, uh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> And then it's a, like a liquidy, watery, brown and kind of color. It's very nasty. And then nasty. they have the, the a yogurty kind of. Uh, it's yogurt. I'm not going to lie. The stuff that's good for you be nasty. It do. It but that really shit was nasty. not. That, it wasn't. Nah. It, I feel like as an adult now, if I know the effects that's going to have on my body, I would drink it no problem. Mm? As a child, yeah, you couldn't get me. I couldn't. You're just going to have to beat me. I'm sorry. I'll yeah, cry yeah. and we'll get over it. But now it's like, oh. this has, it's so much, it's so good for your body. Like, it is, but it's take just. Take that for like two seconds. If it's made and properly and if you buy it like correctly, it's still not going to taste good. good. It's no, no, it's not about it tasting good. good. It's about it's you taking it. <laughs> if you take too much of it or if you take it and it's made incorrectly, you're harming your body. It's not yeah. what it's supposed it's, to do. Because they, they never had the right doses for those things. There's no doses. Them shits too. look always the same in that in that evil water bottle. I'm not, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, though. Like, I'll probably dilute it with more water. What? But no, do, knowing the dosage and not, it's I would you got a pinch in. I would just do a shot because I'm not gonna lie. They used to give a lot. They they didn't give us like a little shot of it. They gave us like a whole eight ounce. Yeah. They was tripping. They was tripping. Like I remember. Oh my god, I just have so many bad memories with it. My mom, like if I didn't drink it, she would come and put me in between her legs, right, and like pretzel style, like lock me in, put my head up, hold my chin here, hold my somebody's holding my nose. And they're like pouring. That was torture. That was torture. Did you mostly I have the the watery like one or the 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 yogurty texture? Be it, it, wait, I don't think there is a yogurt. It's, it's a yogurt. called yogi. It's a yogi version of it. Like ogi. Uh, yeah, there's a ogi, ogi yogi. There's a version of it. Yeah, like the but, yogurt. Um, it's like I yeah, yogurt I texture. I couldn't do that. No, that one is better because you don't really taste it. You don't really taste it. You don't really you taste cover it. Your nose, you just take the and then you just. Yeah, you don't straight. really taste it. But the water, you know, it. it it's strong. Your it's tongue, your gums, you feel it. Oh wow. Yeah, no, I I preferred the ogi version. I'm not doing that. Mm. That shit was a, a traumatizing. <laughs> like <laughs> traumatizing. honestly, like. I don't even think that was right for them to do. Like you put me on the in between your legs, locked me, and then you held my breath. It's so good for you. It. It's good we'll for you. It. Yeah. Now, by now, fire by now, force. by fire, by force. <laughs> and me, I was okay with the fire. Just give me. I would rather take fire than drink it by force. I'm not gonna I'll lie. <laughs> yeah. nah. I don't know. But I, like I rather I would take it, like you said, because it does have benefits to it. But mm -hmm. it's still a scary sight. I can't drink it. I feel like okay. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, um, 
it's just if I feel like there there's things that if we started from younger, like for instance, me and my cousin, we both have asthma, and they made us agbo to drink for our asthma. Like my cousin no longer has asthma, but I still deal with it occasionally. It's not as bad as it used to be as when I was younger. But I'm like, had I stuck to it like he did, we probably would have been in the same boat. You know what right. I mean? So sometimes uh, adults really know what's best for you. They've they, they they've do. been through life before right. before you. You they know. Do. They even say um even like back in Nigeria, <laughs> they actually still would prefer agbojedi before they um medicine western medicine yeah. no i because it's herbs i feel like there's things the earth can there's a lot of stuff there the earth naturally produces that can cure any sickness we can have obviously go see a doctor <laughs> <laughs> obviously, all those natural natural yeah that's cool but some things like nah please don't play with your life go to the hospital mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. make sure you're good it's true because even grandpa he has this stick <laughs> it's a small stick, like and he be used. Stick? Yeah, and he be chewing on it, like his teeth. Yeah, for his teeth. His teeth. Oh, yeah, for his teeth. Mm -hmm. And it be like, yo, he he got some joys, but like, damn. <laughs> like I would, I, I would, like, damn. I would have never thought of doing it, but maybe like I would give it a try. Yeah, why not? I don't like. Is it supposed to make clean your teeth, or is it supposed to like strengthen your treat? I teeth? don't know. Like, it's, what was the benefit maybe of maybe maybe it? maybe strengthening? Maybe yeah. Who knows? Who knows what's That's inside that God. thing that he's chewing? Grandpa definitely still got all his teeth, so it must be doing something. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> good things don't taste good. You had sea moss before? No. It, that thing is nasty. I it's heard very about nasty. It. Chlorophyll too. Oh yeah. Chlorophyll. I, don't know about I call that. it. I, let me tell you. I call it the bad bitch potion. Oh really? Yes, because I feel like there's just so many benefits. It's nasty. It's just it's nasty, but I, I know that it's good for me, so I'm gonna drink it and with a smile on my face, like <laughs> it's Sometimes doing something. It's like, how can something that does not taste right be good for me? Because there's no sugars or preserve. There's, there's no none sugars of preservatives. There's none of that. No, not stuff even in about it. that. Just something that don't it don't taste right. Like it don't have to be sweet. It don't have to. It just don't taste. It right. don't like, taste. Like, it don't taste right. <laughs> Chlorophyll. It don't taste. It doesn't. Right. I hate apple it. cider but vinegar. Don't taste. Right. Apple cider vinegar. But it's crazy. I've never had. Oh. My really? God. And I don't plan on it. <laughs> it's, so, it's so nasty, but one thing, I'm going to drink it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink it. And my gut going to say thank you. Nah, it's, it's, that's shout outs to the winter bodies coming in, getting ready for the summer bodies of 2023. Yeah. Okay. Two piece all 2023. Two piece all the time. Gosh, period. Me. Period, yeah. Absolutely. But I mean, summer, and all. summer practically over, I feel like. Yeah, that's why it's a winter body. Summer has gone by so yeah. fast. Yeah. It's a winter like body. Summer has gone by so fast. It did, and we like wasn't outside like that. You feel like it was kind of trash? No, nah, I wouldn't say it was trash. I really would say more of, I feel like everybody's been on their shit mentally yeah. and entrepreneurially if that's even a fucking word yeah it's um, okay it's the word here <laughs> <laughs> but i feel like everybody's just on their grind and like even with us here like you being here today our podcast everything is just set in stone and i feel like that's what everybody's just working on everybody's just working on their legacy and honestly i feel like a lot of people are looking for their partners to build a legacy with yes. whether it's in a friend or in a relationship yes very it's important a relationship. very 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 important i feel like more people now are more aware of what it means to be in a relationship mm -hmm. and figuring out what it is that they want so they can be in a successful no, relationship right no, we're we not about got, to settle for nothing we don't got time to be our laying up and crying like right okay, can we talk about in, in the words of wolf fuck love no <laughs> Yo, nobody got time to be doing all of that nonsense. Like, how are we finna grow? Where Where's how the next flight grow? we take? Right. Like, let's it, there's more to love. There's more than yeah. just love. It's, it's actually like this. What business we gonna start Exactly. Tomorrow? How can I, I help land? you? Right, how can you help me too. grow? Because exactly. exa another thing, it should never be one-sided. Like, never. just taking, 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 that's not cool. Like, the person needs to be poured back into as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Honestly, so. I feel like you can't even be successful without a team. Even like exactly. what you said in season one, you have to invest not just in yourself, but in but the other people, people you care for. Exactly. That's why if you see me bumping my friend shit and modeling into it i'm doing it period my my sis, my cousin does here i'm she's doing it like so i don't this, always recommend first of it all, i really really love the makeup look i love the eye Thank it's very you. soft on the eyes but it's Ooh. giving Ooh. it's you giving. Say giving supple you know it's giving. It's you're giving. Giving. we try but we don't try no you're you know? not trying you don't gotta try too hard you're doing it Exactly. You either. Those you don't gotta try too hard. It's not I gas. If I don't feel that way, I'm <laughs> oh my one God. thing about me. She makes me feel so special. If I didn't feel like that, I wouldn't have said nothing. Period. I don't gas people. Okay. 
I don't guess. <laughs> I am crying. <laughs> it was great having you here, sis. It was Thank lovely you seeing you again. again. I'm giving you hugs. I know, here. right from here, because I don't want to move the mic. And, then, oh. and this, oh. the, the, yeah, I don't want to like you know, I don't want to be an angel falling out the sky. It kind of did hurt when I did. It did. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was subtle. <laughs> What was it called? Thank you guys for tuning in with us on the Fang Podcast. I am McGree, the one and only. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at it's underscore McGree. And anything regarding nails and makeup, you can follow me at by underscore McGree. Be on the lookout because your girl going to be in a salon still doing her thing. Period. That's Period. what I like to hear. Yeah. And I'm Rebecca, the other co-host of this podcast. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at that queen beck and you can follow my beauty portfolio on instagram which is at touch by bex Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> almost forgot that <laughs> don't do that that's important and let the people know where they can follow you and listen to, to your music and listen to my music it's your girl sudan it's your favorite artist in the making but you don't know that yet but it's cool you're gonna know soon you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter at Sudan Official. That's Sudan spelled with S U D X N, not an A. Um, you could get at me on Apple Music, Spotify, whatever you use. Sudan S U D X N, and come talk to me. I'm cool. Right. You want to French kiss me because I'm, I'm African. African. Period. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I'm not. Not because I, I can't do that. We give very passionate, sloppy kisses over here because that French, no. I'm African. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you an African kiss. I'll be like, huh? oh, oh my God, you ever seen a like come here come here (laughs) my sugar banana my sweet potato ha (laughs) i need some sweetness sweetness it's all right you just gotta hold yourself like this at night it's okay my toy be holding me too Uh uh-huh with the wine glass i'm not even gonna lie the rabbit be the rabbit be hopping man i drink my wine (laughs) first of all i'd be so devastated when it's not charged i'd be like oh Oh! First of all, there's a rechargeable. Wait. I need to get the rechargeable. I don't know how I didn't know about that. First yeah, girl, girl, you plug it in and the charge. Use batteries. Be up here you like yes, bro. I that. have battery. Yeah, no, you need to you, up yeah, it up. Get the, the plug charge. in. Let I, it no, charge. I need to get the and then you one. do like, so, like when you're really desperate sometimes, like me, you just gotta look at it charged with the wine glass. <laughs> 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 Take it off, and you should be good. You should be good. I'm gonna get the After one that you stick minutes, with. After two minutes, I'll be shit. done. I'll be dead. Yeah, I wanna, cause the handheld one don't be hitting it from the back. Like I wanna get hit from the. Back. That's why the... you need a human being. No, that's why you get that's the one with the suction being. and you put that shit on the wall. Get the fuck out. But of it's here. not the same. It's not hold. It's not holding. I know, you. but I, I don't have no husband yet, and I'm not doing anything yeah. with nobody if it ain't a husband. Period. 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 Mm-hmm. Period. Ah, she said hypertension. Hey. <laughs> hey. She's gonna watch this one. Oh, that's okay. Listen, you. She like, knows her daughter. You're grown. She knows me. You're not, you're she not, knows you're me. not. She saw me come out the other day with some booty ass cheeks, so she know exactly. me. Exactly. She knows what she's doing. Exactly. <laughs> and with that, peace out. Mm-mm. Oh, it was so great having you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Oh, the one and only. Sudan. Oh my God. Can you-